First of all, I'm, I'm, I'm a little disappointed that I won't be in Accra, but, um, but I support fully what is happening in Accra. And um, I think the reason why I like um, the, the project that Search for Common Ground is embarking on is the fact that um, I think it's the first time that um, a lot of people from different sides of it are coming together to really speak and have an understanding because there are a lot of people doing good stuff but we're all scattered all over the place but if we come together then we're able to be more effective. I think one of the uh, misunderstanding about the situation is that sometimes people try to think of it that it's just an African problem, it's a one continent problem but the thing is it's a global issue, it's happening everywhere in the world. Um, from my understanding of it, Burma actually has more child soldiers than any other country in the world. Um, and also it's not just countries that have wars going on that have the issue of child soldiering. We're trying to prevent people from uh, you know, uh, participating in active combat uh, under the age of 18. So um, this happens everywhere, you know, even in first world countries. So I think if we make the problem, we ha let people know that it's a global problem. It's not just specific to one continent, to one country and that there's an importance in terms of you know, uh, preventing this from happening to children. Just because wars end in certain places doesn't mean that the issue itself ends. If there's a war going on next door neighbor, most children could go there again. So there's a series of things that continue. But you know, I think there has never been an initiative as the CSI has undertaken that really gets at the heart of preventing the problem itself rather than banditing it, rather than uh, waiting for it to come to a point where it's, it becomes only rehabilitating children. How we can do that, we can continue to do that as well, that's very important, but how can we really get to the heart of the problem? Preventive measures, I think, it's, it's what I'm speaking about here. The role that uh, CSI can play, Child Soldier Initiative, is that I think um, it will continue to keep this in the forefront of people's minds, you know, um, um, people who work in policy fields, particularly um, government, military people, rebel leaders, humanitarian people, but uh, you know, but also you know, private people who have a stake in this as much as anyone else to keep funding things like this that really uh, pushes this forward. But also a way of putting it in, in 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 light of media, so people know that there are things going on. I think it's also important not only to for the people that are involved to know. Uh, what uh, comes out of a crowd, but also people who are not going to be in a crowd to know. So I think, I hope also that there will be enough media attention focused on it so that the rest of the world also knows that there's, this initiative is, is going on, because I think it's important. I, I hope that um, by the end of it, there would have uh, come out of it um, a kind of set of strategic plans or a set of um, um, understanding or, or um, um, a, a dialogue would have happened that enabled people to understand what to do next, what practical things to do next. Uh, I hope Accra would allow people to move beyond theory uh, of um, uh, what needs to be done, but what can be applied practically and that can be taken forward. That's what I really want. I think once the, the, this phase in Ghana is finished and then the it's implemented practically on the ground. What happens is that if children are removed from this conflict, they need something to go to. They need um, to feel their own self-worthiness again. They need to know that they can do something more with their lives, not just that. So I think that's why I come in and a lot of other organizations who do good work to basically give another option to these kids you know, uh, that hasn't been available to them for so many years. And I think um, that's also a very important part of this initiative. I think when um, removing or discouraging the use of children in war is one thing, but what do you do for them when, you know, um, in the places that they live, when violence has become the order of the day, what do you give them so that they don't go choose that life again? It's the next step after that, I believe. And I think we'll all arrive at it.